welcome back to my table. I hope y'all are all doing really good. Um, I am going to try and speak louder, so don't think I'm mad or anything, but people are complaining that they're having trouble hearing. Also, I'm getting a new stand for my iPad, so I'm hoping I can also move it closer. So that may help with you know, being able to hear also. So, um, there were some things I wanted louder. Oh, um, recently, one of the things that I got was I felt like Trump's children or something could be arrested. Like soon. I don't know. Anyway, that's today's reading. I thought I would read on Mike Pence and Trump. How is Pence feeling about? I can't use feeling because that'll make me too emotional. What is Pence thinking about <laughs> Trump right now? I have to figure out how to reword things so I don't get so emotional. But how is Pence thinking? What is Pence thinking about Trump um, now? I'm just want to make sure I didn't leave a card in there. So what, I'm going to try to speak louder. Um, what is Trump, what is Pence thinking about Trump now? 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 Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> I kind of got a mixture of stuff here. Not really sure what to make of it. Okay, the first card is the old woman card, okay? This is not, the old woman can be an old woman. It can also mean, be talking about an old situation, an old feeling, or an old man. It doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. And I think this is representing um pence and his wife and the reason why i think that is because then i have the wife card which tells me that um 
he's not happy. She's well, she's not happy. So Pence's wife is not happy that Pence is so connected to Trump. This is what this is telling me. She's not happy. It may be why she comes up as the first card. And she's not happy because got the priest card. So religiously they Trump is making them Pence and his wife look bad. He's making them look really bad, and they're not happy with that. They're making him look bad, and there's gossip going around. And the more gossip that goes around, the worse they look. They're not happy. They're not happy. The Pences are not happy campers. <laughs> they're, they're not happy. <clears throat> they see Trump is the enemy. Now, this is huge because this means um, Pence is no longer in love with Trump. That's for sure. And they see him as the enemy. This is very interesting. These, uh, these cards get, suddenly get very interesting. This is the Constellation card. Well, we know that Pence is vice president, so he's not president. That would be considered vice president constellation, too. You know, you're not president, you're not top, but hey, you know, you're vice president. Okay. <clears throat> this is the pleasure seeker cards. This is just a group of people are just goofing off, playing around, having fun, nothing serious, party, 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 party. That kind of thing. Then you've got the lover card. So the other problem with Trump is he goofs off. It's too much about part. It, none of this looks good for what Pence stands for on his own. And now he's connected to Trump and none of this looks good. And he can't, he can't count on Trump. He can't count on him. So, the reunion card comes up. Now, this is actually about people because what he's thinking about is the Republican Party and how they accepted Trump and tried to, including him, including Pence, they, they tried to do everything they could to work with Trump. Pence, not Trump. Pence feels like he's been faithful to Trump absolutely faithful to him. He's done everything he can do. His job as vice president, he's done, he feels like he's done a good job as vice president. And the celebration. So what this is kind of, of telling me is that it's almost like there's hints of Pence wants Trump out of the way so that he can take his job as serving the people, not just vice president, but become president and have a celebration because he feels like he deserves it. He's been faithful. He's been, even though it's really difficult with Donald Trump to do this, he feels that way. I'm going to go back to the enemy card because remember I told you this is important? Pence sees Trump as the enemy now. Now, the reason why I wanted to read on Pence is because the 25th Amendment keeps coming back up in my mind and I don't know why. This doesn't really give me an answer to that, but it lets me know what Pence really thinks of Trump, and he sees him as the enemy. And you don't know where that will lead. I just, in my brain, oh, I need to put my 13th card, y'all. I was just gonna, so here's the 13th card. Ah, yes, goes and makes perfect sense. He's waiting for his ship to come in, the merchant card. Pence, 
waiting for his, he's been loyal all this time. He's done everything. He's waiting for his ship to come in. Okay. So he's waiting to become president. All right. But in the meantime, Trump is the enemy and he's doing so much damage to Pence and, and Pence, you know, doesn't like him. Pence's wife doesn't like him. No, it, it, so what I was trying to tell you was I am also a psychic dreamer and a lot of times I'll have dreams like Barr. I've had several dreams about Barr and I know that he'll step down and that he's sick. I actually get physically ill when I read Bard's cards or when he's in my dream. Well, I know Trump isn't well either, but if Trump is in my dream, I get mad at him. I, I don't feel physically ill or when I do his cards. I don't know why with Barr I do, but with, you know, Trump I don't. So, kind of have trouble figuring that out. But... It, it, the 25th Amendment is starting to come for, come forth in me, not in the cards. I'm not going to tell you I got it in the cards. That's why I did the cards. I wanted to see if, if something was going to come up there. But in me, the 25th Amendment is coming up, and I don't know why. I don't know why, y'all. Right now, there, I see where Pence wants Trump gone. He needs Trump gone. He's destroying his chances for re-election. He's destroying the Republicans' chances. But right now, no. So I didn't see anything that said 25th Amendment. But I'm just letting you know that is on my mind. And usually... If it's on my mind, it means something. And since I forgot to read, let me just go ahead and read my disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please seek professional advice on any and all matters. I have as much of a chance of being wrong as I do of being right. I read the cards energy and energy can change at any time. Please keep in mind this is all just my opinion and nothing more. Thank you. And let's Let's get a card here. Um, and see what what we get for a message. Let's get a card here and see what we get for a message. A message for us all. What's our message? Cards are very slippery. Ah, the Ace of Cups. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Ace of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Cups. I'm trying to make sure you can read. Sometimes I get it too close and it's harder for you to read, so. Um, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. There y'all go. There's a message for y'all. Hopefully it helps you with a little bit of luck. Um, also, um, the hurricane that's going on right now. The only thing I could get on it is there's something different or something changes. This is why I'm not doing a reading for y'all because I don't like it when I can't get stuff and be Pacific or at least get a, an idea. But what I'm getting is something um, changes or something different or it does something that people aren't expecting or something. I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, it could dissipate or go somewhere else. And maybe that's, I mean, I don't know what it is. But I have that problem when it comes to, you know, nature and weather and stuff. Because it, it has its own energy and how quickly it can change. So, that's why I haven't done a reading on um, the hurricane. But let me tell everybody, you know, please be safe and do what you're told. 
you know, just, just be safe and do what you're told. Okay? So, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else.